Imagine pouring a single scoop of powder into a glass of water and over weeks and months, giving your muscles an extra chance to resist the slow, steady decline that comes with growing older. It sounds almost too simple, but for people over 60, this is not a gimmick. It is a practical, low-cost intervention that a growing body of science is testing and validating. Age-related muscle loss, known as sarcopenia, begins quietly in midlife and accelerates with time. You can lose as much as 3 to 8% of muscle mass per decade starting after the third decade of life, and the losses are larger and more consequential once people move into their 70s and 80s. Why does this matter beyond the mirror? Muscle is the foundation of independence. Loss of muscle increases the risk of falls, fractures, metabolic disease, and the slow erosion of daily function and confidence. Here's the core insight. Muscle is not a passive tissue that withers inevitably. It is dynamic and responsive to signals, to movement, to protein, and to cellular energy. And here's the practical twist that will be the focus of this talk. Adding a specific, well-studied compound to water can strengthen those signals, amplify the effects of resistance training, and help rebuild and protect muscle mass in older adults. Here is what the research shows. Multiple reviews and randomized trials find that creatine monohydrate supplementation, especially when paired with resistance exercise, consistently improves lean mass, muscle strength, and functional outcomes in older adults. Leading reviews in the field synthesize decades of evidence and highlight improvements in strength, regional muscle size, and even aspects of bone health and metabolic function. What is happening in your brain when this occurs is worth noting because the benefits are not limited to muscle. Creatine serves as a cellular energy buffer that helps regenerate adenosine triphosphate, the chemical currency of cells. In the brain, this supports memory and attention in older adults. In muscle, it supports short bursts of force and recovery between efforts. Recent meta-analyses report modest cognitive benefits alongside the physical gains. A simple tool to apply is straightforward and practical. When combined with a structured resistance training protocol and sufficient dietary protein, creatine taken daily can be a safe, evidence-based adjunct to slow sarcopenia. In the next sections, I will unpack the science in six clear concepts, give you step-by-step -step protocols you can try, and translate the mechanisms into behaviors you can sustain. When most people think of aging, they picture wrinkles, gray hair, or perhaps slower reaction times. What often goes unnoticed is the silent but profound change happening beneath the skin, the gradual loss of muscle tissue and strength. This process, known as sarcopenia, begins earlier than many realize. By the time you reach your 60s, it is already influencing how easily you get out of a chair, how steady you feel walking across the room, and how resilient your body is against injury. Here is what the research shows. Sarcopenia is not caused by one single factor. It is the result of several biological processes that interact over decades. At the cellular level, muscle fibers shrink because of reduced protein synthesis and increased protein breakdown. Hormones like testosterone and growth hormone, which once sent powerful growth signals, decline steadily with age. Nerve cells that communicate with muscle also diminish, leaving certain fibers inactive and prone to atrophy. Have you noticed how tasks that once felt effortless, climbing stairs, carrying groceries, or lifting a suitcase, now feel heavier than they used to? That is sarcopenia at work. It is not simply a matter of willpower or activity level. Your muscle is literally more resistant to the growth signals it used to respond to. Scientists call this anabolic resistance, meaning the same amount of protein or exercise stimulus does not produce the same growth effect in a 60-year-old as it does in a 30-year-old. A helpful analogy is to think of muscle like a sponge. In youth, the sponge is supple and easily absorbs water. Every bit of protein or exercise is readily used to build strength. In older age, that sponge becomes stiffer. It still works but you need more persistence, more deliberate effort, and sometimes an extra agent like creatine to help it absorb effectively again. Here is the empowering truth. While sarcopenia is common, it is not inevitable. 
Studies consistently show that people in their 60s, 70s, and beyond can build muscle, regain strength, and improve function with targeted nutrition and resistance training. The decline is real, but it is modifiable. A simple tool to apply is to begin paying attention to strength, not just weight or appearance. Ask yourself, can I rise from a chair without using my hands? Can I carry groceries comfortably? Can I balance on one leg for 10 seconds? These are small but powerful self-checks. They tell you not just about your current muscle status, but also about your independence and resilience for the years ahead. Now let us talk about creatine, the compound that has been studied for decades and is often misunderstood as something only athletes or bodybuilders use. In truth, creatine is a naturally occurring substance that your body already makes in small amounts and stores in muscle and brain tissue. Its primary role is simple but powerful. It acts as an energy buffer. Here is what the research shows. Every movement you make from standing up to lifting a cup of tea relies on adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of your cells. The problem is that your body only stores a tiny amount of adenosine triphosphate at a time, just a few seconds worth. When you add creatine to the system, it serves as a backup generator. It rapidly donates phosphate groups to regenerate adenosine triphosphate, allowing muscle to keep contracting with strength and efficiency. Think of it like this. Imagine your muscle is a rechargeable battery. As you age, that battery loses some of its ability to hold a charge. Creatine works like a portable power bank, topping up the battery when demand is high. For older adults, this becomes especially valuable because muscle fibers are already more sluggish to recover and less efficient at producing power. Have you ever noticed how short bursts of activity, climbing stairs quickly or rising from the ground, feel more draining with age? That is because those actions require immediate rapid energy that the body struggles to regenerate fast enough. Creatine directly supports those bursts, giving you the strength to perform everyday movements with more ease. A simple tool to apply is to start by adding a measured scoop of creatine monohydrate to a glass of water daily. The beauty of this compound is that it is tasteless, easy to mix, and well tolerated when taken consistently. Over weeks, this steady supplementation builds up your muscles' energy reserves so that when you do resistance exercise, which we will discuss shortly, your body can train harder, recover better, and ultimately rebuild lost muscle. If this insight is helping you, consider subscribing to this channel. There is more where this came from, and joining ensures you never miss the practical science that can strengthen both your body and your brain. Creatine on its own has benefits, but the real breakthroughs happen when it is paired with resistance training. This is where biology and behavior converge in a powerful way. Resistance training is any activity that forces your muscles to push or pull against resistance. Weights, resistance bands, or even your own body. For older adults, this type of exercise sends a direct signal to muscle fibers to grow and adapt. Here's what the research shows. Resistance training stimulates protein synthesis inside muscle cells. It activates satellite cells, which are like tiny repair crews that patch up muscle fibers and make them stronger after stress. The problem, as we discussed earlier, is that with aging, those signals are weaker. This is why lifting the same weight at 60 does not always produce the same results as it would at 30. Creatine steps in as an amplifier. By supplying extra energy, it helps muscle fibers complete more repetitions, recover faster between sets, and adapt more fully after training. A useful analogy is to picture a construction crew rebuilding a road. Resistance training provides the workers and the tools. Creatine delivers extra fuel for the machines and lights, so the crew can work longer and more efficiently. Without creatine, the crew gets tired quickly and has to stop before the job is done. With creatine, the worksite stays active and productive. Have you noticed that workouts sometimes feel like they hit a wall, where you simply cannot squeeze out another repetition? This is the exact moment creatine makes a difference. By supporting rapid energy recycling, it extends the point of fatigue letting you do that one or two extra repetitions that compound into significant strength gains over time. A simple tool to apply is to choose two or three resistance exercises. You can perform safely at home, sit to stand from a chair, wall, push-ups, or lifting light dumbbells if you have them. 
Combine these with daily creatine and you have a scientifically supported protocol to slow muscle decline. The key is not intensity at first, but consistency. Even 10 to 15 minutes of deliberate resistance work done three to four times per week can spark meaningful changes when paired with creatine. If this resonates with you, I invite you to share this message with a friend or family member who may also be facing muscle loss. And if you have not already, consider subscribing. This channel is here to provide the tools, science, and encouragement to keep your body strong and resilient. When people think of creatine, they almost always associate it with muscle, strength, or athletic performance. But the story goes deeper. Your brain, just like your muscles, relies on rapid bursts of energy to function well. Every time you recall a memory, shift your attention, or solve a problem, billions of neurons fire in synchrony. That activity is fueled by the very same energy system that creatine supports. Here's what the research shows. In older adults, creatine supplementation has been linked to improvements in short-term memory, reasoning, and mental fatigue resistance. This makes sense because brain cells consume an enormous amount of adenosine triphosphate. When those reserves are depleted, mental clarity fades and reaction times slow by supporting the energy buffer system, creatine helps keep the brain more resilient during cognitively demanding tasks. Think of your brain like a high-performance computer. With age, it can start to lag when running too many programs at once. Creatine acts like extra random access memory, preventing the system from crashing under pressure. This does not mean it turns you into a superhuman thinker overnight, but it does mean your baseline energy for mental processing is steadier and more sustainable. Have you noticed moments where mental fog creeps in, perhaps late in the day or after poor sleep, and simple tasks feel heavier than they should? This is exactly where creatine can help. It does not replace the fundamentals of good sleep, movement, and nutrition, but it adds another layer of resilience. A simple tool to apply is to time mental work alongside physical care. If you are supplementing creatine daily, notice how your focus feels during reading, conversations, or problem solving. Pair it with hydration and a short walk, and you are essentially feeding both brain and body the conditions they need to perform. This connection between muscle and mind is critical. Protecting muscle mass is not just about moving better. It is also about thinking more clearly and maintaining independence of thought. A stronger body supports a sharper brain, and creatine is one of the few tools that bridges both systems directly. At this stage, the natural question becomes, how much creatine should you actually take, and is it safe? These are important concerns, especially for people in their 60s and beyond who may already be managing other aspects of health. The reassuring news is that creatine has been studied for decades and when used properly, is considered one of the safest and most effective nutritional supplements available. Here is what the research shows. The standard and most consistently effective dose is three to five grams of creatine monohydrate per day. Unlike some supplements that require cycling or complicated schedules, creatine works best when taken consistently at the same time each day. Over the course of several weeks, muscle and brain tissues gradually build up their stores. And from there, you maintain that elevated level with continued use. Think of it like filling a reservoir. The first few weeks are about topping up the tank. After that, it is simply about keeping it full with a small daily contribution. You do not need large amounts and more is not necessarily better. Sticking to the proven range ensures effectiveness without unnecessary strain on the body. A frequent concern is kidney health. In healthy older adults, long-term studies have not shown creatine to cause harm when taken at recommended doses. However, if you have pre-existing kidney disease or other medical conditions, it is wise to speak with your physician before starting. Safety is not about fear. It is about ensuring creatine fits into your unique health picture. Have you noticed how some supplements feel confusing or overhyped with complicated protocols? Creatine is refreshingly simple. One scoop in water daily is sufficient. No loading phases are necessary for most people. No fancy timing required. Some prefer to take it with meals to support absorption, but what matters most is consistency. A simple tool to apply is to make creatine part of a daily ritual you already practice, perhaps with your morning glass of water, tea, or coffee. Linking the new habit to an existing one makes it easier to sustain over time. 
Consistency, not complexity, delivers the results. Creatine can be a powerful ally, but it does not work in isolation. To truly protect and rebuild muscle after 60, we need to see the bigger picture, a lifestyle framework where nutrition, movement, recovery, and mindset all work together. Creatine amplifies these efforts, but it cannot replace them. Here is what the research shows. Protein intake is foundational. As we age, our bodies require more high-quality protein to stimulate muscle growth effectively because of anabolic resistance. Aim for protein at each meal, sources like fish, poultry, eggs, legumes, or dairy. When creatine supplementation is combined with adequate protein, the results are significantly stronger than either one alone. Sleep is the second pillar. During deep sleep, growth hormone pulses help repair and rebuild tissue. If you are only sleeping five to six hours a night, you are shortchanging your body's ability to recover. Think of sleep as the construction crew that rebuilds the muscle scaffold you stress during resistance training. Creatine provides the energy for the workers, but without sleep, the crew never shows up. Movement outside of workouts is equally important. Daily walking, light stretching, or balance drills send frequent reminders to your body that muscle is needed. Have you noticed how a week of inactivity makes your joints feel stiffer and your energy lower? That is your body responding to the lack of stimulus. Regular movement keeps the muscle machinery switched on. Mindset ties all of this together. Too often, older adults internalize the belief that muscle loss is inevitable and that strength training or supplementation is too late. The truth is that muscle remains adaptable into your 70s and 80s. Shifting your perspective from decline to possibility is not just motivational, it changes behavior. When you believe your actions matter, you show up differently, and the biology responds. A simple tool to apply is to build what I call a muscle ritual. Three parts protein-rich meals, daily creatine, two to three strength sessions per week, and seven to eight hours of quality sleep. Add a mindset reminder, perhaps a note on your fridge that says, stronger every day. This package creates the environment where creatine can do its best work. We have traveled through the science, the biology, and the practical tools, and now it is time to bring everything together. Let us recap and make this actionable for your life. First, we began with the reality of sarcopenia, the age-related decline in muscle mass and strength. Left unchecked, it threatens independence, energy, and confidence. But the key insight is that this decline is not inevitable. Muscle remains adaptable well into later decades of life. Second, we explored creatine as an energy buffer. This simple compound, when added daily to water, restores the rapid energy your muscle and brain cells need to function at their best. It is not magic, but it is powerful biology applied in a practical way. Third, we discussed the synergy between creatine and resistance training. Movement is the signal. Creatine is the amplifier. Together, they help older adults perform more repetitions, recover faster, and rebuild stronger muscle. Fourth, we uncovered the surprising brain benefits. Creatine supports not only muscle, but also memory, reasoning, and focus, giving you sharper mental energy alongside physical resilience. Fifth, we clarified dosing and safety. Three to five grams daily, taken consistently, is both effective and well studied. It is simple to integrate, safe for most healthy adults, and far easier than many overcomplicated supplement routines. Six, we step back to see the larger framework, protein intake, sleep, daily movement, and mindset. Creatine enhances results, but lasting strength comes from a lifestyle that feeds both body and mind. Now here is the why behind all of this, protecting muscle after 60, is not just about strength for its own sake, it is about preserving independence, moving through life with confidence, and keeping the brain sharp enough to enjoy meaningful relationships and purposeful work. Muscle is not vanity, muscle is vitality. So, here is my challenge.